everybody, and welcome back to the Empire Let's Play series. Iron Farm has been doing its thing, and we are starting to get some iron, which is really, really great. I got a lot of comments about this, and I want to tell you all about it. Um, there's also some weird glitches with it. Every once in a while, the golems will spawn inside the walls, and sometimes their drops drop outside of the walls, and sometimes the golems even pop out through the walls. It's really peculiar. I haven't figured out exactly why it's happening, but it's not often. It's pretty rare, but it's a weird thing. Um, I got a lot of comments. A lot of people were saying, instead of building an iron farm, I should just go mine in the mountains. And that's not a bad idea. I'm very curious like if we do go up there how much iron might we find and maybe we don't need this you know maybe we could do an iron mine up in the hills and not need the farm another comment i got was i should build this village back up you know yes we can move a couple of villagers over to the savannah but why not have villagers here as well and I love this. I love the comments and I love the discussion. These are all really, really great ideas. And I have no opinion at this point. Maybe we will tear down the iron farm and we'll just go mine in the hills. Maybe once we do build up the Savannah town, we can come back over here and build up a town over here as well. We'll see how it goes. But I love the input and I love the comments. And thank you. Keep them coming. So today we're going to do a couple things. We're going to move some villagers over to the savannah and we're going to get started on that village over there. Another thing I want to do is I want to run way back across the plains and see if we can find a spruce sapling. I do want to use some spruce wood over in our savannah village. And um, I also kind of want to tackle or at least investigate that trial chamber that we found down in our mine. So first thing we're gonna do is move the villagers. I think that's gonna be the trickiest and most time consuming, so let's start there. So I did walk over there earlier and set up a little corral to keep the villagers in, and that's how far it is. So we are facing the savanna, and the savanna is right along the ocean, and you can see it goes right between those two snowy peaks. Now between here and there, it is not flat. There's a lot of hills, a lot of ravines, and things like that that we're going to have to contend with, so we'll see how that goes. And you know, I set up this iron farm because I was thinking, let's use rails, but I had such success getting the villagers into the iron farm just using a workstation, I kind of want to try that. So this guy over here, hello? We've got this workstation here, and if I pick that up, and then move it up here. I wonder if I can lure him all the way over to the savannah. It's tedious, but it seems to be working. Okay, that took just over a day. So um, that is not the most efficient way to move them, but it did work. So if I can get one more villager, follow me over here, then we can get them to start, uh, hello armadillo, get them to start making a village. As far as the road we're gonna build between here and there, Got this little itty bitty mountain here. So we're right over there. Our village is somewhere over there. So potentially we could go through this, I suppose. 
it's not a great way to get from here to there. What happened here? We've got a we've got an escapee. Okay, let's see if I can get one villager to follow me out here. What I'm going to do is just put a workstation over here, punch a hole in the wall, see if somebody will come out. There we go. Do it. Okay, we now have two villagers over here, and I found a piece of armadillo scute that was just laying around, so that's kind of fun. So just to kind of show you what's up, here you can see the ocean, this nice kind of a uh, cliffside savanna, and this is where we're going to build the village, it's just in this little area here. Uh, you can see as we go down the coast in this way, it gets a little bit more stony, and then it gets into some of the other forests and things like that. And right over here, there's like a really weird water feature. Just this big bay on the backside, which is sort of interesting as well. But uh, yeah, I think this is about as far in this direction as it'll go. And then it'll stretch down the coast a little bit and take up a little bit of this space here. So uh, I'm going to lay that out at some point, And then we will spend some time over here building. But before we do that, we need to collect a lot more materials. So I'm going to see if I can run back to our mine before the sun goes down. What is this? Another iron golem escape somehow. I don't get it. I'm going to have to just kind of watch this farm and see what's going on. Made it just in time. Okay, let's sleep. And then we'll move on to the next project. I just watched it happen. So yeah, the golem somehow spawned in this wall and just jumped through the side of the wall. That is the weirdest thing. I don't understand. It's got to be some sort of bug. Not sure why they think that is a spawnable place. Okay, minor modification. I went ahead and replaced the walls with walls. <laughs> so instead of a, an actual block that the golem can spawn on, they have to spawn inside for sure. That way they won't spawn halfway in the wall, I'm hoping. So I'm gonna see how this works, see if we get any escapees, and we can always make this look prettier later. Next thing I want to do is I want to go find a spruce sapling. I do want to use some spruce wood over in the savanna. I want to do like a mix of wood. So we have oak and spruce and acacia wood and really create kind of a sea-worn, eclectic kind of look. I think it'll be kind of cool. So I know way, way, way off in the east there is a uh, forest over there. So we're just going to run in that direction and see if we can find some. I am going to take the map with me, and I am going to take a bed with me. The map, bed, great. I also made some shears, just so we can get a little bit of wool, and maybe start making some banners so we can mark some locations on the map. There is that other village that we had found. Literally just a little ways from where we have been staying. Oh, I'll take this egg. And once we get some roads laid out, we might have to get us a horse.
massive success. We now have a bunch of wool, so we can make some... Oh, isn't that interesting? More problems. I suppose I should probably just make more hoppers to kind of pick up anything that drops over the edge. Um, so yeah, you can see on the map we did a little running around, and you can see the two villages, those little kind of dark smudges on the map. Uh, that's very, very cool. We've got us a birch sapling, we found some sugarcane, and we got a spruce sapling so we can get some other types of wood growing. Very excited to get started on this project. Okay, I just put a couple extra hoppers around the edge here to catch anything that might spill over, and hopefully that resolves our problem with uh, that. I think the last thing I want to do today is I want to head down into the mine and investigate that trial chamber. I'm a little nervous about just getting murdered in this trial chamber, but we don't really have any good gear yet, so if I lose everything, it's not really the end of the world. There's nothing I can't recreate and potentially we could find some better loot, you know, some better armor or better gear. So yeah, I'm uh, excited to see what this is like early game. Let's see if we run down here to the end. Yep, there it is. Can't tell exactly what's going on here. So that's stone. Um, is it this way? It is this way. And that looks like the actual entrance room. So that's a, a lucky, a lucky find. Nice. Oh, and this is a mangrove. How weird. I have access to mangrove wood without having to find a, a mangrove swamp. Okay. All right. See, that is, that looks like a vault up there. believe in here yep that's where the weird there's no bed in here fortunately i brought one that... okay now we're talking look at that some poison arrows some emeralds cool um actually i'm gonna or some of the valuables or semi-valuables here. That way if we die, we don't lose everything. Okay, I see two spawners on the floor there. These are the spots where they've got the faces. Can't tell what that one is there, but the one behind it is definitely a slime. Oh no, it's no oh, great husks. Uh oh, uh oh. That is crazy, out of control. Man, I am so wimpy. The husks are beating me up. Oh, I got a key. That's great. Okay, if I get too close, that next one's gonna go. Getting, oh, I found a key in, in one of the jars. That's great. Iron, I'll take it. Another key. Oh my gosh, we might not even have to do any of these trials. We're getting so many keys. All right, here comes slime, I think. Yep. Interesting, some scaffolding. That's a weird find. This will be a great early game way to get slime balls. Mmm, ender pearls. Those are cool. 
I might even steal the barrels. <laughs> okay, so now that we've cleared these out, this area is pretty safe for right now. I have got four trial keys already. That is wild. There was just a bunch of them in the ceramic pots. See, that goes down a lot more. Okay. Before we go down, let's investigate what is up. More pots. All right, we got a doorway. Okay. We'll take an extra shield for sure. And heck, I'll take the chest as well. In here. Goes around, that's kind of cool. There's an ominous vault. Hmm, some signs. Ooh, bamboo, I'll take that. Okay, historically, these ones are tricky, and I think the ice is going to be a stray. Oh gosh. We're starting. Oh gosh right now I guess yep it is on oh dear okay so we can go up or down it looks like let me go up Gosh. Oh my goodness. That one was a little bit rougher. Some food, I got some arrows. And let's see, I've got a trial key in here. Let's open this guy up. Ooh. I'll take the shield. And an ominous bottle. Very exciting. <laughs> My sword has just about had it. In here, there is another ominous vault. Oh, did I set him off? Sure did, didn't I? Yep. Okay. Um, which shields? I hope my sword doesn't break. I suppose I could use my bow. Oh my goodness, I'm such a wimp with this, this armor. There, there more down there? No, we're safe. Nothing in here, that doesn't go anywhere. Thank goodness. Okay, let's open a, a vault here. Honey bottle and some golden carrots. A wind charge and some emeralds. Whew, okay, I think that's all that's going on on this level. We'll have to go down below and see what else is down there. We got a ton of stuff. We've still got three trial keys. We found some really fun things like candles, flower pots, um, pottery sherds. We've got a Fairly okay bow for not having to really work at it at all. We've got some slowness and poison arrows, got some bamboos, some signs, some slime, which is very useful. Some really great stuff. 
Next episode, we're going to start work on the Savannah Village. We have access to lots of resources now and saplings and things like that, so I'm very excited to get started. And I think the other thing I want to do is check out that big mountain range that's over by our mine and see what's going on up there. And that's where I'm going to wrap this one up. If you want to be like these folks and help support the channel, click join down below. Memberships start at 99 cents and it really helps me out. And thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. Please like and subscribe if you want to follow along on the adventure. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.